Hi, this is Mike Fauché, aka PC Doc, and I'd like to walk through creating a RAID 5 array using the new High Point version 2.1 software. Um, at this point, I'd like to stop and, and give you an, kind of an overview of the software, kind of give you an idea of what it's all about. So first let's go to the global tab. And the global tab kind of talks to you about your controller, your kind of total um, co total capacity, the configured capacity, um, logical drives, number of physical drives. Um, under the physical tab you have basically some information on the controller including your BIOS version. Uh, under that we have the devices which is actually your hard drive. It shows you the number of hard drives and the detail, model number, serial number, etc. Everything you wanted to know about the drive. From there we go to the logical drive and that's kind of a summary. It shows you all the individual logical drives as they stand right now showing legacy and of course a listing of your physical drives which kind of correspond in this case. From here we're going to actually create the array so let's click on create array. It's going to warn me about data deletion so I'm going to go ahead and click OK because these are brand new drives and so I'm okay with that. Um, from this point, we're going to pick first off the, the array type, which is going to be RAID 5. We're going to leave the um, name as the default at this point. And under the initializ initialization method, we're going to go ahead and click on foreground. Um, that's because I'd like to get it done extremely fast um, in the four hour range. We'll leave the other two settings alone and uh, kind of at this point we need to just select the drives that we're going to put into the array now I'm only going to create this with four drives so we can go ahead and add the um, fifth drive as an expansion process and I'll show you what that's like using this software um, in the next video so first off let's go ahead and select our four drives And once we've selected our four drives, we're going to go ahead and hit create. And from this point, I'm going to go ahead. It's going to warn me about again data deletion. I'm going to say I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And at this point, I want to go ahead and refresh the tab. And there, it demonstrates and shows us that it's actually initializing the array at four hours and thirty-nine minutes and it shows me again below that there's one additional legacy drive left which again we'll, we'll uh, utilize after this is complete we'll get into the RAID expansion. At this point I've actually created the array it's initializing and I'm pretty much done uh, there's not much more to do after this until the actual initialization is, is completed and then we'll get into um, actually creating the volume and formatting the drive and then in turn expanding it on the next video. Anyway, that's it. 